efficiency is always the key to the PV industry. However, as the efficiency of the cells increases, the greater resistance power losses associated with the increased current has led to a bottleneck in the PV development. Reducing losses is the key to increasing efficiency, which is why half-cell technology has been developed. Using laser cutting, the cell is split in half along the vertical direction to the main grid. This reduces the power loss significantly by reducing the current to one half of the original while maintaining the same output voltage. From the appearance, I believe you can notice the difference of the half-cell module. Due to the series parallel structure design, the module is divided into two in the longitude direction, which is equivalent to two small modules connected in parallel. In the middle, the current is laid out from the back of the module through a deflector strip, and the current is channeled into the power using equipment through a three-part junction box. So, what's the half-cut process like? The secrets are hidden in the laser cutting machine. The main cutting equipment used in the PV industry are diamond cutting machines and laser cutting machines. Due to the high efficiency of the laser cutting and the emergence of the non-destructive cutting technology, laser cutting technology has become mainstream. By focusing the laser on the cell surface, the high temperature melts and evaporates the material to form the grooves. Because of the stress concentration effect, the cells are neatly broken along the grooves, improving the yield rate greatly. The laser cutting machine consists of a laser crystal, cooling system, optical scanning system, focusing system, vacuum pump, control system, working table, and computer. The volume of a laser cutting machine is approximately 20 cubic meters. To place five cutting machines side by side, a place of approximately 100 square meters is required. This laser cutting machine, for example, which is compatible with the cells of 156 to 230 mm, can reach a maximum capacity of 12,000 full cells per hour and can produce 2,000 pieces PV modules of 144 half cells on the basis of 12 hours of full load operation per day. The price of a laser cutting machine varies from 100,000 to several million depending on the brand, model, power, and configuration. Advanced equipment means high-quality products, and in China, companies such as Altwell and Lead are some of the better known production equipment companies, so Meisan has chosen to cooperate with them as well. As the market demands for higher quality products, conventional laser cutting technology is not able to meet the market demand, and a non-destructive cutting technology has emerged. Conventional laser cutting technology is dominated by laser with mechanical breaking technology. Compared to the non-destructive cutting techniques, it has a higher damage rate and is susceptible to cutting dust. The non-destructive cutting technology increases the yield rate to over 99%. The principle is to use a laser in junction with a cooling system to fracture the cell under the thermal tension and perform rapid cooling so that the fracture expands steadily along the cutting direction. Overall, half-cutting is divided into four steps loading, cutting, inspection, and collection, and it requires one or two people to complete the operation. When cutting cells, parameters such as laser power and scraping speed need to be set according to the size, thickness, wrappage, and capacity requirements of the cells. After the setting is completed, the operator will feed the sorted cells into the machine and transport the cells to the laser cutting table through the mechanical arm and the conveyor belt. To ensure the stability of the cells during the cutting process, the table is equipped with air holes, and the cells are absorbed and fixed on the console. When the vacuum cam is turned on, the cut cells will be tested and codified and uncodified cells will be handled separately. We can see that half-cutting is non-contact processing, which prevents damage and contamination of battery cells. So, what are the advantages of half-cell components compared to traditional battery components? Firstly, smaller cells reduce the consumption of resistance and improve the efficiency of PV conversion. Secondly, smaller shading area to reduce the risk of hotspot due to shade solar module heat generation. Thirdly, series parallel circuit designed to reduce current mismatch loss due to inconsistent cells performance. Fourthly, the gap between the cells is increased to allow for secondary flexion within the module, enhancing optical utilization.
So, if you are interested in the PV module manufacturing, please don't forget to follow us. We will also continue to update this series to take you through more of the stories behind the PV industry. See you in the next video.